Yeah, so WPF was not cross-platform and closed source, at least back in the days. And yeah. so Avalonia kind of tried to fill that niche, right? A, a open source framework that is cross-platform. And then that's, yeah. So uh, we, 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 with Avalonia, we created something that was essentially very much like WPF, very similar, very compatible, so people could easily move to it. But at the same time, um, you know, WPF was uh, a mature framework. People knew what they liked about it and what they didn't like about it. And we were free. It was almost like, if we were the people that developed WPF, we've been told now that everything that you've learned from building it, you can and using it, you can start from the beginning and not make those mistakes. So with Avalonia, uh-huh. it was an excellent opportunity to fix all the problems with it, or at least the fundamental issues. And we certainly managed to make some some improvements. But at least we did that. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of nice to refactor uh, from the ground up and right? start with a fresh, a fresh slate uh, and an empty page, uh, especially when you have the background in what worked, what didn't work, uh, what can we improve. Um, yeah, that that seems to be quite a, a promising approach, indeed. Yeah, and I guess we had the we had the benefit of hindsight, though, mm-hmm. that they didn't have in the beginning. 